Fernandez unhappy at Man United amid tunnel confrontation and contract dispute. It's been a tough season for Bruno Fernandes and Manchester United. Last season, the Portugal international was very much the star turn in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's improving Red Devils side. Fernandes netted 18 for the campaign in the Premier League, the third best in the entire division, and was on target more than any other player in the middle of the park. But for one reason or another things just haven't been the same this season. There are various theories behind Fernandes's sudden decline including Cristiano Ronaldo stealing the spotlight from him and the midfielder having to take up new roles in new systems under Ralph Rangnick. Should Manchester United change formation to suit Bruno Fernandes? Have your say in the comments. German coach Rangnick immediately implemented a 4-2-2-2 formation at United after taking the reins in November and this sees Fernandes in one of two number 10 roles rather than just as the designated number 10. His new role means he's forced to travel out wide, and he is also sometimes dropped back into the more defensive midfield positions in the system when Rangnick makes attacking changes. The new role hasn't suited Fernandes, who has become accustomed to the creative space and freedom he was gifted as the sole number 10 under Solskjaer last season. Fernandes went some way to proving Ronaldo's introduction may be the cause of his poor form when he netted twice against Aston Villa on the weekend without the five-time Ballon d'Or winner in the starting's eye. He also did this as a lone number 10 in a 4-2-3-1 formation. But United still dropped two points against the villains, and Fernandes admitted his unhappiness after the fixture. He said, I think we get a perfect result to be in the perfect position to score even more goals. Get the third goal and finish the game. But in the end, we did not get the counter-attacker last pass. They had the quality to score, they didn't we draw. I don't feel it, don't feel it at all. We get our chances and still could score again. The shot was not good, the pass was not good. The run or whatever was not working. They started to get more pass between the line and out wide. When you give them that space with the quality they have, they will hurt you. I think the performance was better than the result for sure. Probably more controlled. We controlled the game better than before. We deserve more. But, the game is about deserving it's about points. Unlucky for us. But, still, a lot to improve on, even if the performance was good. I'm not happy at all. Everyone is happy to score goals, but I prefer to win. I prefer to take away my goals and we win. Today my two goals don't mean anything, because we go one point, and we wanted three. Fernandez showed his infuriation after the match, when he confronted the fourth official in the tunnel. Emi Buendia had gone down injured at the death, which meant the match went past its allocated stoppage time. Fernandes claimed Villa were trying to suggest the Argentine had suffered a head injury, despite the fact he was clutching his shoulder, so they could take him off as they had already used their three substitutes. I was asking the referee why they were making a fourth sub when Buendia was injured with his shoulder. Fernandes said. I think the doctor said that he had hurt his head, and if there is a head injury, there needs to be a change. But come on, he hurt his shoulder, and they cannot get another sub. Come on, I get that the referee has to follow the rules, but I was just asking why and that was it. Fernandes's final gripe concerns his off-pitch activity, with the Manchester United midfielder recently turning down the offer of a contract extension at Old Trafford. After the midfielder's hugely successful first season United Chiefs felt Fernandes deserved a salary upgrade, according to The Athletic. He was offered a new deal in late autumn, but the Portuguese star's representatives turned this down, and talks of a new contract have now been shelved. Fernandes saw his £50,000 a week salary at Sporting Lisbon double when he signed for Man United, but his wages do not compare to those of Ronaldo and co. While Ronaldo is the club's top earner bringing home a cool £400,000 a week, David De G is on £375,000, and a whole host of stars including Edinson Cavani, Anthony Marshall, Jadon Sancho and Paul